tang of salt and flying spew, and across the waters of Spithead roars a modern mystery. She's the 20th century embodiment of an ancient legend, the legend of the Flying Dutchman. She's a ship without a crew. In her deserted wheelhouse, a silent helm moves uncannily in the grip of unseen hands. On the waters nearby, she's shadowed by another craft which watches her every move. Six buttons and a knob on this mystery box hide the secrets of the vessel which sails without a crew. Her helm moves obediently to a series of time impulses transmitted by the parent craft. It's the first trial run of the RAF's new remote-controlled target launch, which can be steered by radio up to a distance of eight miles from the control ship. A gyro compass holds the robot launch on whatever course is ordered by the control ship's radio. Altogether, eight distinct changes of course or speed can be transmitted. It's a marvel of modern electronics which enables the robot to be kept under perfect control up to a speed of 20 knots. The ratchets on the cam of the automatic throttle govern the robot's speed, and they, like the helm orders, are controlled by that same tiny mystery box aboard the parent ship. Armor-plated to withstand 25-pound fragmentation bombs, the robot will give invaluable target practice both in darkness and in fog for that proud and accurate service, Bomber Command. <laughs> 